Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to Surviving Mars. This is the 1075% uh, difficulty playthrough with no, uh, no competing colonies, which actually makes things even harder. So, um, where are we at? Well, we've got 9 billion in funding. Uh, we're uh, charging through a bunch of uh, research. Uh, we're at 70% atmosphere and 56% um, temperature, which means we're well on our way to getting um, to getting to the point of opening the domes, right? And that's uh, that's what I've uh, decided is going to be the end point for this series. Once you get to the point where you can open the domes, if you if if your colony fails, uh, it's your fault, right? I, it's pretty clear that we're already at the point where nothing, um, no natural event is going to uh, kill the uh, colony. Uh, the reason I can say that is uh, uh, we're, we're at the point we don't have uh, cold waves anymore and we don't have dust storms anymore. So without either of those, well, those are the really uh, difficult disasters to deal with, right? Uh, and meteors, they're not a problem because we have our lasers. So, uh, basically, everything is good. Now, we've just built a uh, megadome here. Uh, and that's uh, that's definitely a thing, right? Well, let's just uh, check in in orbit here. Cloud seeding is uh, a thing, right? Um, vegetation seeding. Well, let's um, let's uh, seed vegetation as well. Now we're going to need seeds to do that, obviously. Now we can uh, actually go in. Uh, we can go in here, and we can grab the space elevator, right? And uh, we can grab a stack of seeds. Launch. Yeah, so that's one of the reasons you definitely want to build the space elevator when you have the uh, industrial capacity to do that. Don't build it when you don't have the industrial capacity to do it. It's expensive. Okay, so we got seeds. Um, okay, so we got 70 uh, living spaces here, so we've got that at least going for us. Now, uh, what, we're, what I'm going to do is... Uh, uh, fill in some services over here in uh, in this dome, um, which means we need to click on the right thing. Dome services, right? Um, so we're gonna chuck in uh, a couple of diners. Let's chuck in three of them. Yep. Then we'll go in here and we'll grab um, infirmary. Uh, we'll chuck in three of these too. Uh, and then we'll go in also... Um, yeah, we'll chuck in a uh, grocer or two. Yeah, and we'll also go in and chuck in several security stations because we have the uh, we, we definitely have the um, population to run them, right? Uh, so we'll put in a bunch of them just like that, okay? Now, we're going to need living space, right? So, uh, that's going to be over here. Nope, that's going to be over here. Uh, and we're going to grab apartments and uh, just stick a bunch of them in. Um, yeah, we'll put that one in. So, one... Uh, 
right? Okay, so uh, that has <clears throat> that has uh, sucked up a bunch of uh, of resources and has the uh, drones all nice and busy, right? Uh, so we'll we'll do that, and that will uh, definitely uh, prevent us having to do a lot of uh, uh, will prevent us having a lot of un. Uh, um, unhoused people. Yeah, that's what it is. We're going to have uh, fewer uh, people that are homeless. That That's what it is. Uh, and I'm just opening all shifts on all of these buildings. Yep. Yeah. And these should come... Yeah. Those come automatically with all shifts. Uh, okay, we have a Capture Ice Asteroids project available, which uh, is uh, useful uh, if we had a rocket to send there, which we don't at the moment, which is fine. Uh, right. So as this, uh, this uh, gets um, uh, built, right, uh, things will, uh, will definitely improve. Now... Um, we have a bunch of prefabs available, so let's um, let's put a bunch of drones there, and here uh, we'll put a bunch of drones there too. Uh, that's a important thing is if you don't have enough uh, drones well um, you end up with uh, stuff not getting done right okay cloud seeding da 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 right okay so this will improve the dirt right um, we got stuff not working because well there's nothing nobody to uh, do it do the work right uh, but that will change as the uh, population grows right okay uh, we have a rocket coming home uh, yep good we have our rocket home uh, yeah, we got low low concrete because we just built a bunch of stuff or queued a bunch of stuff up to build. That's fine. We have the uh, I didn't did I build? Yeah, we have the excavator running, so that will definitely uh, that will definitely catch everything up for us. What we can do, however, is go up here and find the ice asteroids. Uh, yep. And we'll send that expedition. Okay. Okay, so we're going to send that. Now, I think what we should probably do, uh, maybe is, uh, well, let's take a look here. I think perhaps, yeah, I think we need to uh, maybe ch chuck in uh, another fuel refinery or two. Uh, right. Well, I think we can uh, clobber uh, a couple of... Uh, these they're less effective as the atmosphere increases anyway then we can go in and uh, it's under here no here fuel refinery We 
we can put a couple of them in like that. Okay. Uh, now these guys, they're doing what? They're extracting metals. Uh, eventually that metal deposit will go away and then we can take those out. But um, we have nowhere to store metals. That's going to be a problem. Uh, well, uh, in that case, uh, what am I going to do? Well, uh, well, there's something I can do. Uh, first of all, I'm going to, just for a lark, we're going to flatten a bunch of terrain. Uh, out of bounds. Okay, that's... Uh, well, let's uh, flatten some stuff here. Yeah. Yeah, we'll flatten that. Right, okay, so that's the edge of the of the uh, map. Okay. Um, so when this, uh, this will flatten out, of course, and, uh, and then we'll be able to go ahead and... And then I'll, I'll put... Uh, what I'll do is I'll put some storage uh, stuff over here to... Uh, soak up the excess uh, metals, right? Because we have 1.9k metals, right? And uh, if I uh, if I fill those, put a bunch of them, bunch of the, or put one of those big storage devices over here, I can uh, actually uh, soak that up from my main storage up here and we'll have somewhere to uh, keep storing everything, right? Because we're just going to keep producing metals, right, with the mohole. So, you know, we might as well uh, just put those big storages somewhere. Now, those store 4,000, if I recall, and they take up a lot less space than, uh, what would it be, 25 of the, uh, the other ones, right? So... Uh, those would definitely, uh, they're definitely more space efficient when you have a massive surplus of materials. And as you can see, we've got enough drones that we can just crank through a, uh, a terraforming project like that, right? So uh, I'm going to come along here and, uh, well, let's, wait, um, in, uh, no, it's going to be in... Storage, yes. Uh, we don't have the storage thing yet, so uh, we've we right. I keep forgetting that. Now well, let's go in the science. Automated storage. We have that up next after terraforming amplification. Okay, that's good. Uh, right. Uh, this microfusion. You know what? Just because it's fun. Let's uh, let's research microfusion as well. Uh, then we can build the artificial sun. Uh, and, uh, yeah, and then we'll just chuck that one in there just to finish it. Uh, right. We're basically at the point where we'll just be researching stuff to fill in research, right? So it's not going to be that uh, particularly, uh, you know, impressive, right? We got a space mirror project. Uh, it's not... Uh, not time to do a bunch more projects. Uh, this here, seed vegetation, yeah, that'll that'll be done uh, in a bit. Right. So we have unemployed people. Uh, we have 291 places for people to live, so we're good for a bit here. Uh, and we've got people filling a lot of these jobs. This is a mouth. Oh yeah, because we're uh, short on 
concrete at the moment. That will uh, that should be mostly sorted out. Uh, right. Well, something I can do while things are ticking along here. Go back in uh, in here. Uh, right. Uh, we can go in on flatten and uh, now if we, sh we shrink that a little bit now we, sh we can go in this way yeah so we can flatten some more stuff out here Right. Yep. Yeah, we'll 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 do that too. Yeah. Uh Yeah, see basically if we can just uh, chuck in a, a terraforming process and have it finish in a a minute or so, you know we're we're pretty much done. Seed vegetation. Right. Okay. Uh, right. So now we're up to 5% vegetation. So, you know, we have that. Uh, we'll, we'll land our rocket there. We don't care about the uh, renegades. And where are we at? We're 70. Okay. Let's uh, also duck in the science here. Um, we'll, we'll do some uh, outsourcing. Yep. Uh, so that will. Uh, well, we're doing 4K per sol. Almost 5K per sol with the outsourcing. So, yeah, we're definitely uh, solid there. Now, this, we're going to need. Uh, we're going to need another one of these. I'm pretty sure. Uh, the door to summer. Your attention is required. Okay. Uh, do you want to live forever? Da 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 da. da. Eternal summer. Uh, da 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 da. No, we're not going to do this. Now, the reason I'm not going to do this, even though we have insane resource production, is they ask for a ridiculous amount of resources, and it's not worth what they pay for it. Uh, so if now we could we could we could do that at the state that the colony's in now, uh, but it, uh, that often turns up way earlier. And if you do that, you're you're sunk. So uh, like things can go really bad. Now look at this. We got uh, we got trees on our hill outside our dome. So isn't that uh, isn't that uh, exciting? Uh, so, yeah, that, um, so that, uh, gives you a, a feel for how Mars, uh, ends up looking as terraforming, uh, progresses, right? Uh, now we're producing 94 fuel per sol. Let's, uh, let's duck up in here. Uh, the space mirror is going to use up the rocket, right? Uh, seed vegetation. You know what? We'll send the, uh, the thing there. We've got 116. Yeah, seeds are growing fast enough now that, uh, that we can uh, go ahead and, uh, and do that without having to order seeds from the elevator, you know, from Earth. Uh, so, yeah, uh, while we're at it, let's go in here and build a rocket. Yeah, we have the resources. We might as well just uh, do that stuff. Uh, I think we're going to need one more carbonate processor, uh, even once we get the terraforming amplification upgrades. So, uh, let's uh, look here under uh, terraforming. Uh, so, that's going to be the carbonate processor. Uh, 
And I think... Yeah, we'll put it over here. Uh, can we fit it in? Oh, yeah, we can fit it in over here. This takes... Uh, 160 concrete. Uh, oh yeah, we've got the uh, the resources for that for sure. And then uh, what we're going to need to do, I guess, well, let's uh, let's look at the mohole. What do we need for this 800 uh, machine part? We don't have uh, here. Uh, what do we need for this? Uh, 200. Let's upgrade that one. Yeah. With these two uh, devices here uh, and uh, vaporators, you can produce absolutely everything you need indefinitely. So uh, as long as you don't get ridiculous on over overbuilding your uh, your colony, you're good. Uh, we've got, uh, well, we've got meteors landing, and we have a Mars quake, because we got ice asteroids, yes. Something we can do here, wait, we can, we can get rid of that. And I think we can get rid of this, too. Yeah. Destroy drones. Right. And... Okay, yeah, that's, uh, yeah, our concrete's running out, yeah. Oh, what we need over here is to go in here and chuck up a laser here. Yeah. And chuck one in here. Yeah. Okay. And we're going to need um, power. Uh, power. Cables. Uh, which will uh, come... Uh, it'll come like that, and like that, okay. Uh, right, uh, automated storage is complete. Uh, building's not working, concrete. Uh, we've got some destroyed uh, uh, vehicles. Where's the mouse pointer? There we go. Uh... Clean that up, and we've we've had uh, resources appear. Right, uh, we should land our rocket. Right. Okay. Now let's uh, let's duck in here. Uh, let's uh, let's send that one. Send. Yes. Okay. Now we go in oh come on if we go in here yeah we we have another we have seed vegetation waiting for payload close seed vegetation we're waiting for a seed oh well yeah that will uh, that will accumulate fast enough right okay that's uh that's that's working out okay. Ah, our uh, uh, 
Oh, uh, we need to, uh, where is it? Uh, here. We need to do that. Right. Okay. Good. Now, these guys upgrade. That increases by 50%. Let's upgrade all of them. That's going to use up a bunch of polymers, of course. Uh, but it will uh, improve this, right? Now, so we're going to need additional power. And uh, that's, uh, that's something that we, uh, we need to look at. Now, we haven't researched fusion. So that leaves us uh, wind turbines, right? Uh, so let's um, chuck in a bunch of wind turbines. Yeah, so that's a bunch of wind turbines. Uh, that should sort the uh, power situation out a little bit. Yeah, uh, we had a Mars quake. Uh, apparently. Uh, we have heavy drone load. That's fine. Uh, we can have a heavy drone load. And we have... Uh, we have wind turbines coming online as they get constructed, of course. See, these things get more effective as the atmosphere increases. So we've got an elevation boost, and, right? Uh, and then we can also do the polymer blades thing, which adds a third again, right? So we'll wait for that, uh, for all three of them, the remaining ones to go online. And then we'll go ahead and... and upgrade all of them, right? Because we, we should be able to get uh, a substantial amount of power uh, coming. Now, if we upgrade all of those, uh, we should get, okay, so we're at 55.2 unupgraded right so uh, if we go over here 61.8 upgraded right so uh, that's uh, that's quite substantial really now we got another seed vegetation pro project and we we did so we're gonna send an expedition there now that was the one we're going to, okay. And we've got one of these, cloud seeding, right. Okay. So, uh, we're doing 3%, uh, we're doing a net 1.7% per sol. So we're gonna get up there uh, by the, probably by the end of the next part. Uh, if not, there, there, there won't be more than two parts left in this, I don't think. So, uh, so we're basically just about done here. Uh, we are... Oh, we've completed microfusion. And we've launched a space mirror. And, uh, yeah. Okay, so uh, let's, um, let's take a look here. We've got microfusion, which... Uh, that's also this is uh, quite uh, quite an exciting one. Uh, so let's uh, let's go in. No, let's go in here, and we'll go under uh, wonders. Right, uh, artificial sun is uh, quite impressive actually, and we can build Project Morpheus as well. Uh, well, let's, uh, let's start with the artificial sun, which we're going to stick, I don't know, 
Let's stick it right about here. Yeah. Okay. Now we're going to need a, uh, a, a pipe coming into there. Uh, okay. So we will put a pipe coming into there. Uh, not connected. Okay. We will connect a pipe in. Uh, it's going to suck up a lot of water right when it, it gets built. But it will, uh, it will uh, produce quite a bit of power as well. Uh, but it has a neat trick to it. Because you can actually put solar panels around it. And it will power the solar panels overnight. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, and the solar panels will face it. It's, it's absolutely uh, fascinating. Uh, and I don't think, and I think it negates the uh, atmospheric effects uh, for the solar panels in range of it. So, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's quite uh, amusing. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to build that. Uh, we have the uh, resources to build it, obviously, so uh, it'll take a while to ignite, but when it does, it's, it's quite impressive, actually. Uh, Project Morpheus is probably worth building as well, uh, but we don't have the resources to build that at the same time, right? Okay, uh, something else that we're going to want to do over here is uh, chuck in a laser or two. Uh, so, so if we chuck in a laser here, um, and if we chuck in one here, yeah, those will cover it. Okay, so now we're going to need power going to the lasers. Uh, you can go up here. Yeah. You. Can come up this way. Yeah. Okay. Now this, uh, yeah, it's going to take a while to accumulate all the resources. Uh, it takes a lot of polymers to get started, right? Uh, right, good. Uh, where are we at here? Uh, we're down to 152, uh, 151 uh, uh, living spaces. Uh, let's look in our uh, our uh, uh, population list. We've got 57 renegades, and we've got uh, we've got uh, no earth sick because we have no earth born. We've got no tourists because we can't get any. Uh, we got nobody that's ill. Uh, we've got uh, oh, regular meteor storms are done. Okay. Uh, yeah, we've got a whole bunch of stuff there. Uh, now if we look in here, yeah, we have no Earthborn left, so yay, uh, obviously. Uh, so yeah, we've got a, uh, a massive, uh, colony, uh, thing going here. Um, right. Now this here, oh, that's going to take a minute. Yeah, that's definitely going to take a minute. Uh, and, right. What I'm going to do uh, while that's... Uh, I'm going to go into storage. And we'll go into metal storage. And I'm going to go way over here. Nah. I'm going to put a metals thing over here. 
And these need power. Uh, so, um, so we'll connect it to power, right? And we'll also go store everything there. Okay. It can store a certain amount uh, without power, obviously. Uh, we've completed seed vegetation. We're at 10% vegetation now. Uh, okay, now this thing here, these things are slow, but they store a lot. Okay, we need a tech to research. We've done farm automation. Uh, right. Um, well... I suppose we could, uh, well, let's just run through the, uh, the, uh, breakthrough tree. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, you are machine parts. You are... That's a Hawking Institute. What are you? University. What's the... Where's the... Uh, oh, it's here, right? Um, right. Okay. Uh, well... We're filling up the uh, metal storage here. Uh, right? And the artificial sun. We're waiting for resources still. Uh, okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the cut here. Uh, we're at 80, almost 82% vegetation. I'm going to, or, or atmosphere. I'm going to put the cut here. Uh, and then uh, we'll see what uh, what happens next time around. Uh, but uh, I, there's one more episode for sure, maybe two. I think it's just going to be one, but I may do one more just to get that last wonder out. Um, maybe, maybe not. Uh, there'll be one for sure. I'm not sure, though, if there'll be two. It depends. Uh, like this gets up to... Uh, when this gets up high enough to open the uh, the domes, eh, I'll do that, and then we can go ooh ah, and uh, that will be it. So uh, probably next episode, if it depending where where it, I cut it, maybe two more. So uh, yeah, we're just about done this long slog. Uh, if you remember the early episodes in this series, with all that long slog. We were uh, building up our uh, resources and science to get as many colonists in as we could initially. Uh, and then you can see here, we've got this booming colony with way too many people. Uh, so yeah, it's... Uh, well, we've uh, we basically... Uh, we've, we beat the thing on the maximum difficulty as measured by the game. Uh, so next episode, probably we'll take it to uh, enough atmosphere to uh, open the domes, and then I'll call it a, a series there. But anyway, uh, that's all for this time. So stay healthy. Uh, don't let the ongoing apocalypse get you down too much, uh, especially now that there's a light at the end of the tunnel. And see you back next time.